Rosamund Pike first rose into prominence playing the Bond villain as Miranda Frost in Pierce Brosnan's final 007 outing, Die Another Day. Since then, she has had a very consistent career, appearing in supporting roles for the next decade. She finally rose to leading lady status thanks to her powerhouse performance as Amy Elliott Dunn in David Fincher's Gone Girl. Throughout her career, she's appeared in everything from comedy films to action thrillers to period pieces and she's done it all with the undeniable talent she first showed almost 20 years ago. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Rosamund Pike. She speaks French and German. Rosamund Mary Ellen Pike was born on 27 January 1979 in London, the only child of opera singers Carolyn Friend and Julian Pike. Her childhood was spent traveling around Europe with them as they performed, with the result that she speaks French and German. She had never seen a Bond film before being cast. Pike played Bond girl Miranda Frost in Die Another Day at the age of 21 following her very first film audition. But she admitted that she had never seen a James Bond film before she was cast. To add to her dismay, at the casting, she felt out of place because she had chosen the wrong outfit. She told W Magazine, all the girls in this beautiful old townhouse waiting to see the casting director were sleek and dressed in what seemed to me like leather. I was wearing something very thick and woolly. I was convinced I was all wrong. She had to gain and lose weight for her role in Gone Girl. Her performance in the movie Gone Girl was highly appreciated, and she received many award nomination for her role. Part of her characterization was to slip in and out of different personas, cool girl, perfect wife, diary Amy, and Pike needed to lose and gain weight three times over. She told Vulture, I had to be slimmer in LA and heavier in the Ozarks, and then heavier and slimmer in the studio, so I had to do it three times over. She was forced to gain 20 pounds in two and a half weeks during Gone Girl, and then lose 15 pounds in 10 days. She put on the weight through lifting heavy weights and then eating carbs to gain fat. She was five months pregnant while filming Jack Reacher. Pike played the female lead Helen Roden in the Tom Cruise starring action flick Jack Reacher, and by the time shooting wrapped, she was five months pregnant. Mercifully for the actress though, the part didn't require her to do much in the way of stunt work, that was all Cruise's bag. Still, it's a prominent role in the movie, and despite some online commentators noting the seemingly enhanced size of Pike's cleavage during a few scenes, her real-life pregnancy was largely undetected by most viewers. She almost starred in Harry Potter. As it turns out, Pike could have gotten the chance to play another sharp-witted strategic character, albeit a far more tame version, had she decided to take on the part offered to her in Harry Potter. Pike was in the running for the part of gossip writer Rita Skeeter in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, but after hearing that she would need to sign on for two films, even though she had limited screen time, the actress had second thoughts. Pike turned down the role because she felt it was too large of a commitment with not enough screen time. Though she would go on to nab some other impressive roles, it would have been interesting to see Pike's take on a fun character like Skeeter. She is no stranger to the stage. She fell in love with acting while playing Juliet in the National Youth Theatre of London's production of Romeo and Juliet at the age of 17. She's gone on to star in West End shows like Tennessee Williams, Summer and Smoke, and performances based on the life of composer Leo's Janicek. She was rejected by multiple acting schools. After landing a spot in Britain's prestigious National Youth Theatre as a teenager, Pike was subsequently turned down by every drama school she applied for. She said, I was rejected from a number of drama schools before I went to university. It was devastating at the time, but I knew what I was. I was an actress and they could knock me down, but they couldn't knock that out of me. I wanted to prove them wrong. In the name of the father inspired her to become an actress. Pike credits Daniel Day-Lewis's performance in 1993's In the Name of the Father for inspiring her to become an actress. She said, it made me realize the power of film and that this medium could have a physical reaction on me, and I hadn't really experienced that before. She's a model. In 2013, the stunning star added model to her resume after being named the face of the Duchess of Cambridge's go-to label, L.K. Bennett. Personal life. For most of her 20s, English actor Rosamund Pike seemed to be best known for being unlucky in love. Her university boyfriend of two years, actor Simon Woods, turned out to be gay. Then she was swept up in a very public love affair with British director Joe Wright, who proposed at Lake Como in Italy. Save the date cards were sent out, and then Wright called off the wedding in 2008. In the raw aftermath, Pike said, I don't think you ever get over something like that. 
Since 2009, she has been in a relationship with businessman and researcher Robi Anayak, and they have two children together.